This particular panel discussion is about journalism in turbulent times. Do you believe that at the moment to be a journalist is a more dangerous business than it was, say, 20 years ago? I mean, I don't think I can say it's, it's a lot more dangerous than it was 20 years ago. The thing is, journalism has always been a dangerous um, profession in the sense that you are you are always um, trying to find the truth and you are f and there are going to be a lot of people who want to keep that truth hidden there was always corruption but today it's sort of there are many different ways that people can launder money that people can sort of the, the term criminal you know is very varied now so um, there's sort of more to investigate and therefore more to write about. Your enemies, let's say, are, you know, where before maybe you'd write about um, politicians. Now it's, you know, there are a lot of businessmen you'd write about, um, people who abuse power, and this is sort of, this makes the work of journalists more dangerous. The other thing you need to think about, about what makes journalism dangerous is sort of, are the institutions in the country functioning? If they are functioning, the work of a journalist is going to be less dangerous. Over 20 journalists were killed uh, in Ukraine since the war started. Several of them, several media workers, uh, two of them were found in Bucha with signs of torture. And we see this pattern repeat decade after decade, country after country where uh, Russian forces um, were at play. We saw this in 2018 uh, when uh, Russian journalist Arhan Jamal and his colleagues were brutally murdered when they were investigating the military group Wagner. And we saw this, of course, in Chechnya time and time again, where I'm from. I think when we're talking about um, states with either unstable gov governments or repressive governments or states where there's an absent uh, of law or very weak rule, rule of law, then everything becomes sensitive, as, as we discussed. Everything belongs, becomes political, whether it's a cooking recipe or it's... Um, uh, an article about opening of, of some hipster bar or uh, if it's a discussion about protests. I think when there are no rules then the journalists become victim of that too and everything is political. With, with all due respect I, and I wish all uh, you know peace and dignity for people in Ukraine but one, you know within a few days uh, the coverage that went to Ukraine made us Yemenis think like, what? What about us? Like, we, we, like, we should have had just 1% of that media coverage. The big media outlets that once they publish just, you know, short uh, piece of, 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 of news, it becomes suddenly as if it's the truth. So I remember one friend used to tell me that, that your blog of Rahtani is more credible than what New York Times is reporting. If, if we follow the journalism, the journalistic principles, uh, and we should apply them equally to every crisis, we would have, have been in a very, very different place, I think. I talk from Sweden where it, it, you know, it, 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 it brags, and it, rightly so, uh, uh, that is the first country that criminalized uh, uh, censorship and guaranteed uh, freedom of expression and freedom of press in its constitution hundred years ago. Uh, that kind of political will uh, is so important. Without political framework, without political procedures, without political will, uh, we will continue talking about this, uh, this, this, you yeah, know, we will we will have this kind of seminars over and over and over.